Who's your best friend? Maybe it's someone that's on your basketball team. Maybe it's someone that's in your class at school. Maybe your best friend is your cousin or even a sibling. Maybe it's someone that you've even known since you were born. Maybe you have a few best friends. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking a lot about friends. And I'm curious to get you thinking about how you and your best friend kind of first connected. One of my best friends when I was in primary school, she only arrived at my school when she was in grade six because she moved from the country to the city. But her name was Sarah and we thought it was funny that we had the same name. And then we went to the same high school and we still thought it was funny that we had the same name. And the more that we got to know each other, the more we realized that actually we had a lot more in common than just our name. See, it's important to think about what kind of qualities you're looking for in a friend. It's got to be more than just having a matching name with someone. See, things like, are they kind? Are they generous? Are they encouraging? Are they funny? I don't know. I wonder what matters to you when you're choosing a friend. Now, when Jesus was choosing his friends here on earth, He didn't always choose the people that other people thought he would choose. In the Bible, Jesus' friends are often referred to as the disciples, and we learn a lot about them in the Gospels, the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which are found at the start of the New Testament. And they tell us a lot about Jesus and his friends and kind of what they did together. But if you go right back to the beginning where Jesus kind of first met his crew, I told you before, they weren't really the people that, most would expect Jesus to kind of pick out to be his best friends. There were people like fishermen who would have smelt like fish and some of them were tax collectors and they often were a little bit dodgy. Because you see Jesus saw those guys as God saw them. He saw all the potential that was in them and he loved them. Can I tell you something really cool about how Jesus picks his friends, his best friends? Um, I'll just Come in close. We should all get in real close because I want to make sure you don't miss out on this. Um, It's you. Oh, and it's you and you and you and you right in the back and you. It's definitely you and you and you. Not you. No, it is you. Just tricking. Because you see, Jesus' love isn't a normal kind of love. Jesus' love is big enough so that we can all be friends with him. It's pretty amazing. And getting back to our topic about what kinds of things make someone a good friend or why you might choose them as a best friend, Jesus sounds like a pretty good best friend to pick if you ask me. See, I've spent a long time getting to know Jesus as my friend and I can tell you, he's really kind, he's really encouraging and he's the most generous person I've ever met in my life. So first of all, I want you to remember that Jesus picks all of you to be his best friend. But I also really want you to remember this today. We want you to make wise choices when you're choosing friends. And I think the wisest choice you can make in a friend is to choose Jesus. So if you've never asked Jesus to be your friend, let's do that together now. And even if you have asked him, let's help our friends who haven't asked him before. So let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you can be our best friend. Today we want to tell you that we want to be best friends with you forever. Thank you that you love us and that you died for us so that we could be best friends with you forever. Amen. 